Units of measurement. CSS units are used to express length for widths, margins, font size, etc. It is usually a number followed by a unit of measurement like PX, EM, or the percent sign. When coding unit measurements, there is no space between the number and the unit. And you might see values of zero where a unit is omitted. Some units are absolute, meaning they're always the same size regardless of the page size. PX, or the pixel unit of measurement, is an example of an absolute measurement. Other units are relative, meaning their size can change based on something else, like the page or the font size. EM, or percentages, are relative unit measurements. Relative units will scale better between different devices. This means, for example, if we give an image a percentage value, for example, 100% width, it would take 100% of that part of the page on a phone, tablet, laptop, etc. The width would change depending on what device they're using to render the page. This is called responsiveness. Whereas if we give that image a unit measurement of 800 pixels, it would be a fixed size on all those devices. So relative measurements scale better and are good for responsive web pages. The default browser font size is 16 pixels, but you can change that default for the entire page by setting a font size on the body element and the child elements will inherit their parent body elements font size. EM is also a relative measurement. EM allows you to change the size relative to the size of the text in the parent element. EM can be used on more than just fonts though. You could use it for margins, padding, line height, etc. But it's going to be based off that inherited font size. If you always want to base your measurements off the root uh, or font size in the body, regardless of the immediate parent's font size, you could use REM or root EM instead of just EM. 1 EM would mean 100% of the default font size, and 1.5 EM would be 1.5 times bigger or 150%, and 2 EM would be twice the size, and so on. There are also other types of measurement units of measurement like VW or VH for viewport width and viewport height, referring to the width and height of the user's device. W3Schools.com has a more complete list of units of measurement. We will most, mostly be using pixels, percentages, and EMs for this course. Remember we've talked about elements having an invisible box around them. They are sized just big enough to hold their content. We can adjust the size of these boxes with the width and height properties. Notice how this banner or hero image is quite large. It's actually going off the screen and we don't even see the right part of it. We can change that width to 100% so it will now take 100% of the size of its parent container and not default to however many pixels the image was. We can also set widths on any element such as this div because right now it has no content, it has no height. We can set a height to make it taller. We can also set a max width or min width. This is different from width because with pages that expand and shrink with the user's screen such as percentages and EMs, there comes a time when a device might be so small that the page is not legible anymore or a screen so large that the page or element width appears much too big. Use max width to ensure there's a set point when it shouldn't grow anymore and min width to make a set point where it won't appear too narrow. So for example, we can make sure that at a certain point, the main section doesn't get larger than 1500 pixels. It's always a good idea to check your site on different devices to make sure it looks good.